not adjusting to New York very well. It's it's a hard adjustment, it really it is. is. And the whole situation moving in, trying this to figure out a lot commute. At once. It's a lot, it's very intense. Got stressed out and I had some anxiety issues that I hadn't had since years ago. I think that that was a red flag that started to push her away. I think my reluctance to commute was a red flag for her. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Our schedules are formidable. Sean is a trauma nurse in New Jersey and he's stacking his days. And when he has to work several days in a row, he has to stay in Jersey. Come on now, keep up. I was not expecting this type of living situation. I thought my match would be maybe not in Manhattan, but close to Manhattan. I could have done things a little better in certain situations and not been reluctant from Jump Street because that could have turned somebody off and I could see how that could have happened. So how was your day? I'm exhausted. Sean is in New Jersey where he's working late and then getting up early in the morning. I'm in Manhattan and I'm supporting him through it, but it's tough. I'm so tired. Like well last night or now? Not really. I'm okay with the split living situation for the short term, but it would be nice to have him here. Essentially, you're in this experiment with someone and you end up having to confide in each other. You have to. This is who you confide in. So you end up just sharing a lot of stuff amongst each other. Did you ever have as a kid that little plastic sheets if you peed the bed? I have a feeling you peed your bed for a while. I, I didn't pee my bed. <laughs> you seem like a long time bedwetter. <laughs> what was the last Long time bedwetter, okay. Sharing a sense of humor, a zest for life, that's sexy to me. I swear, you should, you should be a stand-up comedian, you're so funny today. I am funny. I conceptualized how this process would go. I conceptualized that I'd be with somebody that, that makes me smile and makes me laugh that I enjoy life with. I'm sorry, did you wanna um, did you wanna continue to talk about the plastic sheet? I didn't mean to cut you off. I really think you wanted to continue that Come here. conversation. <laughs> <Just> gonna... <laughs> I'm not sure if specifically as to where she's at on the sex front, but the intimacy front requires romance. So it's my job to step that up. Having that connection with someone, that's what you build upon. That's like romance to me. That's like so exciting. <laughs> All right, let's make this bed bedwetter. <laughs> Keep going.